Hello, how are you guys? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm Dylan and in this video, let's see how you can use uh, Git Revert. In what cases are we using Git Revert? So uh, a usage of Git Revert is if you need to uh, undo a change that you have already pushed the commits uh, into your uh, remote branch and if it is a bad commit and if you need to undo that, uh, the Git Revert is the option that you can use, right? So this is how you use it. Uh, follow me. Here I have created a repository called git revert test uh, for this demonstration and I have already uh, nine commits in it. In that repository you have only a one file called main.py and these are the changes I have done recently, right? Now what I will do is uh, I'll add a small commit to show you all guys and this, uh, this commit I'm not gonna undo it this is just gonna be a normal commit and I'll state the changes right now push the changes to the branch here I'm using only a one branch which is the master you can basically use git revert in a specific branch also okay now I'm going to add another line call print um, it is going to be third unnecessary sorry commit uh, assume that this commit is gonna be or the, the change that I have done is an accidental change it is not meant to push that into the uh, remote repository right let's assume that I have accidentally committed that change now I'm going to accidentally commit that change, right? And push the changes to the remote branch. Okay, now I have accidentally and successfully added the accidental change that I have done to the remote repository. Now what you have to do is you have to undo this commit. So there are 11 commits. The latest change uh, is the commit with the message called third unnecessary commit and I need to undo this, right? So in this case, you can use git revert. Before using git revert, you have, you have to uh, type git log and see the commit ID of that uh, latest commit that you did accidentally. So you can see the first result, the part that I have highlighted is about the commit that I uh, recently committed, right? So there is a ID along with the commit, right? You have to copy this and you need to uh, get uh, out from this. What you have to do is uh, just press semicolon and Q and you will get out from this and you can be, uh, keep on typing the commands, right? okay uh, now i'll type git revert and i'll paste the copied commit id which i did earlier this should be the commit that you need to undo i'll press enter now you will uh, see a vim uh, ui where you have to give a like a message why you are reverting this change so i'll keep it like this and I need to get out from this, right? Uh, so I can basically push the changes to the remote branch, right? So what I can do is uh, press Control plus C and it will uh, say that type colon QA and press enter to exit the Vim, right? So you can basically uh, shift plus semicolon till uh, give you the colon and type QA and press enter and you will exit from that Vim UI and you can uh, now run in command right when you are using git revert and along with the commit ID right you are basically staging another commit with the reverted change right so you have to push that reverted change to the remote branch so I'll run git push
Okay, I have successfully pushed the changes to the remote branch. Now I'll check the remote repository. I'll refresh the page. And you can see uh, the reverted change, right? Uh, that I have done is access successfully committed. Okay, uh, I'll go to the commit and show it to you. So the line number nine, uh, which is known as third unnecessary commit is deleted, right? Okay, uh, hope you guys understand how you can use Git revert and why you are using it. Um, if you have any concerns or like, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Hope you guys like this. Uh, if you enjoy this or if this is useful, just share, like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed me. And have a great day. Thank you. Bye. See you guys in another video.